the senior leadership of Labour has come under intense pressure today after revelations of sexual assault at a youth camp. The party has apologised to four teenagers who were sexually harassed by a 20-year-old man at the camp, a man who was not a party staffer or party member. The Prime Minister says the delay in getting help for the victims of the assault was a clear failure on Labour's part. Here's our Deputy Political Editor, Chris Bramwell. The Young Labour Camp was held at Waiafetha Camp near Waihi over the weekend of the 9th and 10th of February. At a party on the Saturday night, a 20-year-old man got very drunk and sexually assaulted four 16-year-olds, two men and two women. Labour Party General Secretary Andrew Curtin says the decision not to go to the police or to tell leader Jacinda Ardern was to keep the circle of people who knew small. We wanted to make sure that we would keep the confidentiality of those involved and that they didn't get the impression that a whole group of other people knew who they were, uh, knew what had happened, and were talking about it. And that's the advice I've got from professional people who work in this area, and that's why we decided to handle it from the party side of things. On March the 4th, the Cabinet Minister Megan Woods saw a Facebook message about the incident from a young person and immediately called Andrew Curtin and asked him to contact that person, which he did. Labor didn't contact sexual abuse support services provider Help until March the 5th, more than three weeks after the assaults took place. Help's Chief Executive Connor Twyford says her organisation absolutely endorsed Labor's approach of keeping the circle small. It's absolutely up to the people who experience sexual harm to decide what they want to do next. Um, in some cases, telling parents or the police without telling them first could have a really detrimental effect. Ms Twyford says sometimes delays do occur in making complaints because there's an element of shock and trauma involved. Sometimes people say they're OK immediately after, but sometimes they're not. And it takes, sometimes it can take a while for people to realise they're not OK. So it's really good and important to check in regularly to, to make sure that people are getting the support they need. But Jacinda Ardern says the delay was a failure on Labor's part. There was a delay in services and support being offered to those involved. So the morning after, um, the person, the uh, alleged offender in this case, was ejected from the uh, camp. The question was asked of those involved what more they'd like mm -hmm. done, if they'd like to take it further. But there was some follow-up that uh, later took too long. So is Andrew Curtin safe in his job? After the Prime Minister was blindsided yesterday when a reporter asked her about the incident during her regular post-Cabinet press conference. Yes, yes, but we of course have to do better. You know, we know we need to do better. The National Party and the Greens have also held residential camps, but say they've had no complaints. The president of National's youth wing, Stephen Sunday, says they ensure alcohol is only available to those over the age of 18 years at Young Nats events. The ACT Party leader, David Seymour, says the party hasn't held residential youth camps for a number of years, partly because it's become an increasing liability to do so. He says there's some hypocrisy in this case on the part of the Labour Party. The sale and supply of Alcohol Act, which Labour opposed as making it too easy for young people to get alcohol at the time, has been breached here by the supply of alcohol to young people, it appears, by the political party, which said the sale and supply of, of Alcohol Act was too lax. The police won't comment on whether anyone has contacted them or laid a formal complaint. They say they want to ensure anyone who does want to contact the police can feel comfortable in doing so. Atawiti Whare Pari Mata, Mōte Hōtaka o Te Ahiahi Nei, ko Chris Bramalahau.